Let's go. This is it. Right. This is it. All right, cool. What are we looking at here? Quite a balanced team again. Yeah. So, uh, red team, uh, they're running two vanguards and a an marksman. Yeah. And again, we've got the um, uh, marksman, vanguard, and an assassin. So again, very nice balance there. Balanced team, yeah. Um, but at the same time, while I do say that the first team isn't, I guess, not as balanced in terms of job classes, um, they're still, you know, we've seen them, you know, pull this back. So we're going to jump right into this and see what they're going to pull out of the yes. bag, to be honest. I mean, like I said, they're, la they're lacking the marksman, but let's see what they can do let's see what they can do with it, yeah. oh, Sorry, not marksman, they're lacking an assassin, so we'll right. see what they do with it. Yeah. It looks like Beckless is uh, perched on top of these things here. Um, getting a good view of the arena before he jumps in. <laughs> yeah, before he jumps He's in, yeah. You know, taking a sip of tea or something like that for a wow. bit and going, yeah, let's see how this let's goes. Go, yeah. yeah, so... Already, we've got uh, Cherub chucking out a lot of the projectiles, as you should do as a marksman. Actually, you can see here, he's really smart with his play, where he's sticking to his teammates, because he knows that, again, we've seen the synergy between um, Cherub and either um, Siren or Jaywash. It seems like they both take it in turns, and because of that, Cherub says, okay, cool, I need a little bit of help, you guys need to stay with me for a bit. Um, it looks like Cherub did try to go for a uh, shockwave pulse, I didn't quite get it off. It's such a scary move, because um, it's just a nuke that goes off. It's just a nuke, yeah, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, Sephiroth just got denied there as well, so that's uh, that's uh, quite, a, well, it's quite a big blow, honestly, to the opposing team. I mean, if we, look, if we look at the HP, basically, it's really even, and the red team have lost a stock. They've, yeah. not, they've not really done much for the blue team. Yeah, they've got all the help. Yeah, basically, they've got less bravery than the blue team, so it's now they need to really pull something back for this, because yeah. they're basically sitting there thinking, They've got enough stock for free, basically. Yeah. We haven't got, we haven't done much damage on the blue team, so how are we going to turn this around now? And I think that for a character like for, for, some, for someone like Beckless, I think he should probably just back off for a bit. He's yeah. gone against this before, but um, you know he's, he's and he's actually lost you know stock for his team because of that. Yeah. So I think he should maybe just focus on someone else and maybe divide up the blue team because, as I've said before, the blue team know they need to synergize and keep their marksmen uh, protected, given right. the defense that he needs, and. If they separate the marksmen, the rest of the team, you know, they come in to get more communication going. You see that Sephiroth is there already? Yeah. Sorum is like, cool, I'm going to stay with you the whole time. Look at, look at the minimap. See how yeah. they're going to try and go already. They, they stick with each other. They know they need to protect they know, the marksmen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and now the, in the a stage team... like this as well, there's a lot of places that you can hide. Yeah. So it's very important that, um, that as, the, as the Vanguard, that you're positioned in a place yeah. where they can't sneak around. Yeah, exactly. Exactly yeah. as you said as well. And uh, you know, because this has got so many different levels to the stage, yeah. that when you chuck projectiles and marksmen, so Kefka and Old Lisa, they need to position themselves in a really good area so they don't get screwed over. Um, you that might was not see that. Then. That was a, that yeah. was um, a Shiva. She broke yeah. um, Sephiroth, and then um, it looks like uh, Jay Watch then went for a slice and dice. That's why the camera was doing oh, the motions because right. it, it tracks him and he's doing that. Um, I reckon we're probably going to see a carrier, so we will definitely check out what's going on with um, a Banana. But yeah. I mean. Do you, do you see the blue team chasing him down? They're like, okay, cool, yeah. ignore the other two, they've just spawned, focus on the marksman. Focus on the marksman here, yeah, they're, they're definitely closing in. And as you can see, he's definitely being marked right now. Yeah, this, what we just missed there as well is, uh, I'm not too sure who it was, but Siren or J-Rush just did a, an enfeeble on the red team. Yeah. So everyone on the opposing team, on the red team, they, they got stuck. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry, the other team. Uh, the red team was putting in people on the blue team. So even though the blue team now can't move, all three of them just got broken at the same time by Sephiroth's Doom. So maybe the red team can actually bring this back by a little bit. Yeah. It's going to be tough. It's going to be very, very tough. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, yeah. But I mean, if. if I mean, at this point as well, uh, the marksman and Sephiroth himself, if they get touched, they are probably going to die. Yeah, they're, they're most likely going to die. They're going to go, okay, cool, this is, this is off. And that was it, yeah. Oh, so wow. And speaking of just out of blue, Jet was the one that got uh, KO'd there. Wow. Yeah, I think I. I I actually just about saw. I don't know if you saw the mini map, but it tells you who they're targeting. Right. I saw Siren. Um, get, uh, sorry, Siren. Quickly uh, see Jet's behind him. Change yeah. his targeting from uh, Kefka right. to the be guy behind him, which was Jet. And that's how he was like, okay, cool. This guy's coming up behind me. I'm getting KO. I'm gonna go for it. Right. And he did. Um, the thing is, well, because of the move that Siren is running, which is um, the, the Octo Slash, yeah. it builds up as he does the attack. So he actually had. Just a little bit under Brave, get killing, killing Brave. Yeah. But because it does one attack, build Brave, second attack, build Brave, you know, it's a combo move. It's a combo, yeah. Yeah, so it builds up Bravely as it attacks, the final hit gets the kill, that's how it kind of works. Right, okay. And you want to be careful of those kind of things, you know, Cloud and Sephiroth especially, or even someone yeah. like... Both of them have those type of moves where yeah. it's a HP attack, but it does several hits before the KO actually, yeah. the KO blow comes out. Yeah, and that's why every time, even when I get hit with one of those types of moves, I'm thinking, damn, like, it's such a problem because yeah. the very last hit's probably going to be the issue and can it get a, you know, KO me. Yeah. But um, at the same time, 
the, this is what some people don't actually know. These these moves that characters like Cal and Sephiroth have, yeah. they don't KO unless they get the final hit. Right, so if okay. you can get a team to go, I mean, I've done this many oh, times. Oh yeah, combo says, break. Yeah. 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 Can, you, can you quickly jump in and get the Sephiroth off of me? Then they'll stop it mid, mid animation and yeah. that's how it works. But we can see here as well that Siren, he realizes, I'm only too sure the blue team are doing this time. They've already lost one stop. Yeah. Maybe I the think it's yeah, the adaptation from the red team. I think, yeah. I think, as you can see, they're all playing a lot more closely together yeah. as more of a team. Uh, the blue team before were able to sort of really spread them apart. Yeah. So I think that's really, you know, coming into play. Look at this. Look at the mini map. Look at, you see the mini map? How all of them are, like, the blue team are stuck here. The yeah. red team are over here. Yeah, they've been split yeah. up by the blue team. Yeah. It's a power struggle. It's a constant power struggle from yeah. what I can see on here. Uh, they're but constantly. To me, oh. but to, I was going to say, like, to me, I feel like the boots are fortified. They yeah. fortified their defences, that's what they're doing. Yeah. Whereas if you look at the red team, they're kind of opening them up from different angles. So honestly, yeah. it's, a it's a good approach. Um, and now, because of the red team, I think, have understood the kind of gaps and the weaknesses yeah. that they have, they've then decided to kind of change that approach yeah. against the blue team. Because even the red team now, they're all stuck together with one position. I think it really yes. is a, a tug of war where they're trying to all get that position together, yeah. I think that's what's going to win this match here. Yeah. And at the moment, it's uh, playing off. Yeah, the, the red team is oh, saying that yeah. though, Sephiroth just got incapacitated, yeah. so this is going to be down to the wire That here. said, if we look at the they health... They've as well. Yeah, they do have summons, they both have summons available. They're going to go for a team summon. Nice. Uh, not quite, they just got Mr. Synergy there, the they got it in the end, the red team. Okay, red team got it. Yeah, we had one and three, they both did the summon. Yeah. Um, Siren jumped this up. This is going to be a problem it. as well, because the Viathan has some really good AoE attacks. Yeah, those those bubbles, man. They're gonna suck, they're gonna bring all the opponents into each other, and they're gonna suck them in and yeah. stuff like that. I mean, you've got these projectiles coming out of nowhere now, and there's nothing you can do about them. Yeah, and and plus with Kefka, that's gonna really uh, add more to his uh, zoning game plan as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if we look at him now, we can see that he's already going in for it at the moment. You know, he's basically yeah. saying, "That's cool. I'm gonna go for this." I've got yeah, I've got an opportunity. I can potentially kill two of your team if he gets a little bit more bravery. Just needs to kill one. Though. Yeah, just needs to get that one more kill and bring it back for his team. But yeah. he he may do this. I reckon he's we'll got four thousand brave. He can kill anyone at this point. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he can kill his own team if he wanted to, if that was a possible. Yeah, but, you know, it, he's he's basically a, a threat to the opposing team, and I think the blue yeah. team needs to say, let's help out Kefka quick, and then so that you can get the KO, you know, let's yeah. let's cause characters like, uh, let's cause players like uh, Cherub and Siren to be a bit more afraid, yeah. afraid, and we'll lock him down for you, but they're not really going for it at the moment. Wow, so um, I'm there. Yeah. It's just a marksman's fight against him, the movement here is superb, by the way, I really yeah. like this movement. Yeah, yeah, as a marksman, you have to be, like, the best of your uh, mobility. But they looks like they went for a summon. I think they went for some. Yeah, no, no, it, it must have been like the Avengers had their summons. So yeah. clearly, uh, Tyros is able to, to to close the gap on Zet on sorry, Zet Jet and uh, and and get the KO there. Yeah, wow. yeah. And it looks like the other team have also finished their match as well. So let's see. Okay, <laughs> that means they've got work to do. Yeah, let's let's get these results in. Let's actually get the results in. So good stuff. I like I like boss. the end of that match between almost Evil Banana and yeah. Sheriff. Like the movement there. The, yeah, the, the zoning. It could have gone uh, anyway. It was honestly. so good. The problem being, though, I mean, so necessarily say a problem, but because Cherub was running, uh, sorry, because um, yeah, because Cherub was running the uh, shock red pulsar, mm -hmm. whereas almost even banana was chucking out the uh, range uh, HP attack. Yeah. What that does is obviously it, it can actually track down Cherub. Was Cherub in offer? Him to use um, Shockwave Pulsar, you have to be up close. But why would Kefka go up close? Exactly. Exactly. You're, you're yeah. a marksman. You would never go up close. So in that case, um, it was always kind of in. Um, it was always really kind of in. Uh, Banana's favour, but yeah, unfortunately yeah. the whole team kind of didn't kind of come together and help him out to get that. It was close thing. though. It really, it really was close in that second game. The yeah. red team had a game plan. They had the centre of the stage. They were together as a group. But when they had that summon, when they actually got that summon, they kind of split up again. Yeah, yeah. And it was all like one character versus each character. Yeah. And obviously it's a fair fight, but at the same time. It is a team-based game. I feel like they should have maybe stuck together just a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, let Kefka do the zoning and just Jet yeah. and Sephiroth just do their thing and just yeah. really pound away at the opponent and let Viathan do the do, do the uh, the range work. <laughs> and it's funny you say that because that's what happened at the very end of that. Yeah. They then so uh, Delphos then said, okay, cool. Let's use their own. Let's use what they're not doing against them. That's why they came in and helped their marksman character. Yes, that's yes. how they won. That's how they won. That's how yeah. they won. There was so much good. There was so much good team play between Delphos. To be honest, between both teams. Both teams kind of yeah. had it, but at different points of the match, and that was what's, what was really pivotal at the end. Yeah. Because Delphos had that that clutch moment, and they yeah. took out the jet. Yeah. Uh, clearly, that jet player must have been by himself. The Titus came in from downtown, attacked, and he got the KO. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> and you know, in, if, if you if you were to ask me, I would say Titus has an edge over Jet just because of the way that he can close the gap. Jet's not a fast character. He might be able to block HP attacks, but how long can he block? That's exactly. the question. Yeah, and assassins are relentless. And you know, 
So it was good to see that kind of thing going through at the end. Yeah. Um, we also, fortunately, we've also got a result as well from. Um, let's have a look here. It was matched who again?